Hi everyone, have you ever been in a situation where someone judges you for what you looked like upon meeting and then after they got to know you a little bit, they told you that they completely misinterpreted the way that you showed up to them in the first place? I have been told myself that I look like I was a stuck up person and Judging a book by its cover is oftentimes something that will happen to natives that have sun square the ascendant in the birth chart. And this is because there isn't a harmonious integration of the ascendant, which is the rising sign, to the sun, which is life, purpose, and goals. So when we have some conflict, we have a square involved, we've got some tension here. This is a difficult situation to unravel because the sun is showing up one way and the ascendant showing up the other way. So the sun, which symbolizes light, energy, purpose, drive, and the soul essence in a square, which is a challenging aspect to the ascendant or the rising sign, which encompasses your physical attributes and how others see you in social situations. This can be tough. For someone in the natal chart is the sun life purpose is in conflict with how you show up to everyone the ascendant rising often often you can find with this aspect that the way others see you is not exactly how you wanted to be portrayed or you came off so others can be a bit confused and also the natives can be a bit confused with this uh, but focus on self-improvement, self-image, self-discovery ultimately helps out with this tough square because you may think of yourself as a bit of an enigma and there's not a lot of information out there on the internet about the sun square ascendant, especially those who, like me, have it natally, worked through it. So example here with the sun square ascendant would be an earth ascendant walks into a room steady, grounded, composed, putting off this earthy vibe, right? But their fire sun eventually shines and they come off as lively, quick to react, passionate, bold, which is ultimately in conflict with how they showed up with that earth ascendant sign in the first place. So others can think one thing when they meet you and then another thing when they get to know you. It's not easy, but with this aspect, one has to realize they may be misjudged, maligned, and misinterpreted with this. Like an onion has its layers, this one does too. Like I said, self-awareness, self-discovery, studying up on both your ascendant and your sun will offer some insights into the square. Just be yourself is a sentence we all hear when entering a social situation with no foresight. That, my friends, is a difficult line to say to the sun square ascendant native because just be yourself is not easy for them when they are used to being judged somehow, some way for coming off exactly how they are or completely opposite what they wanted to show up as in the first place. But remember here, working on this natal square aspect isn't for them, it's for you. So get used to being misunderstood. Trust me, there's a tribe out there that is working through these same themes and things and they understand exactly what you're going through. This one can feel at times like we've either got to pick our sun to show up for us or we've got to pick our um, ascendant rising sign because there's a conflict in integrating them both harmoniously within our personalities. So, like I said, oftentimes someone can think of you this way because of your rising, but then you show them your sun and it's like, who are you? Like, where, where's the person that I met? right? And it's like, well, if you knew, then you would know in my natal chart that I've got this going on, this conflict with integrating it. So I can either, bat, it's a battle of the wills. I can either, uh, will it be the sun or will it be the ascendant that I show up as? And really depending on the social situations and the friend circles and this kind of thing will really show you 
whether you show up more like the ascendant or the sun to certain people. So learning more about yourself through this aspect, this one is, like I said, it's a tough one, but it is really all about self-discovery here because you're really trying to um, let your sun shine bright and let your ascendant shine bright both together, balancing it harmoniously. Oftentimes, very difficult because it's either that or that. So anyhow, I am personally working through this one and there is there are people out there that are working through this one and still getting along quite well in the world. Uh, not everybody's gonna understand you though and that's okay. So anyhow, this has just been a little bit about what it's like when you have natal uh, ascendant square to the sun. If this resonated with you, let me know. Let me know your experience. Let me know what you've been through with this. I would love to take some more notes and do a new video on this in the future. So part two. So anyway, stay tuned and I will talk to you all soon. Hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead. Take care.